Chris Profi, musically obsessed. Chris Profi, musically obsessed with vinyl CDs and cassettes. Chris Profi, musically obsessed. Oh yeah! Greetings from Poughkeepsie. Happy Saturday, everybody. I've got two new Grateful Dead reissues to show you. Plus, I've got two cassettes that I picked up when I was visiting my daughter. So let's get into it. Big fan of the Grateful Dead. And I can say that I saw them live back in the 90s. So happy to add that to the concert list of great artists that I've seen. Uh, and the Grateful Dead, whether you like them or not, you have to acknowledge not only what they've done for music, but what they've done for live music as well, just with, you know, and if you are a Dead fan and you've been to shows, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the Grateful Dead have done all different styles of music. Um, back in the day, they were influenced by the Carter family and they did the folk country bluesy type stuff. They've done like jazz fusion, they've done rock, um, you know, poppy, even disco type stuff. So the Grateful Dead have sort of dipped their toes in all different musical genres. So let me show you the two reissues that I picked up. Uh, the first one is from 1977, Terrapin Station. All right, and the hype sticker, JC, says, All aboard Terrapin Station. Newly remastered by David Glasser, featuring Estimated Prophet, Samson to Delilah, Dancing in the Street, Terrapin Station. Uh, love this record. Love the cover, especially. It opens up very strongly with Estimated Prophet. I love Samson and Delilah. Dancing in the Streets. Have there been too many covers of that song? Maybe. But I like the Grateful Dead's cover of it. You know, side two is one song with many movements called Terrapin Station. There's even some riffs in there that are kind of reminiscent of heavy metal. So a very adventurous album for the Grateful Dead. Check it out. Reissue of Terrapin Station. The other one came 10 years later, and this is probably the first Grateful Dead album that I heard because of the song Touch of Grey. This came out in 1987. This is the new reissue. And the hype sticker, The Dead's Biggest Album Ever, newly remastered again by David Glasser. Touch of Grey, West LA Fadeaway, Throwing Stones, Hell in a Bucket. When I was a kid, that video was all over MTV. That was my first exposure to The Grateful Dead. And Truth be told, throughout the years, this was one of the albums that I really didn't listen to, even when I was listening and still am listening to The Dead a lot. And I didn't really know too much about it past Touch of Grey, but this is a really, really strong record. And I also told you that I have two new cassettes to show you. So, dropped off my daughter at college a couple weeks ago. There's a record store right in town. I always drop by to see what's in there, and I seem to find cassettes when I'm there. And I just did a video on these guys a while back, but I found the debut from Kingdom Come in really great condition. I picked up the sophomore album, In Your Face, and this is in really good condition as well. So now I've got both of these on vinyl, CD, and cassette. Does that make me cool? I have no idea. It probably makes me a dork, but... I don't care. All right, everyone. Have a great weekend. Bye.